All right. So if you're a business owner and you're trying to, to figure out whether search engine optimization is something that makes sense for your business, then you're in the right place. So I'm Will Kenderdine, and if this is the first video that you're watching in the series, uh, I would recommend that you, uh, you look at the other videos because there'll either be a list over here or a list over here. Um, somewhere on the, the page where you're finding this, you'll see uh, three other videos that came before this, uh, one that describes what is search engine, what are organic search results, and then what are paid advertising results, and then uh, just like I typed in here, what is SEO? And what we're going to go into um, in this video uh, is the the, the go a little bit deeper. Uh, let's just say it that way. We're going to go a little bit deeper to talk about search engine optimization. And I 100% agree with what Wikipedia has here, which is that uh, search engine optimization is part of internet marketing. So when and in this series, they're listing search engine optimization as the first thing, uh, first topic um, in a series on internet, or you might call it online marketing. So uh, as you can see, there are many other aspects of uh, internet marketing. So I 100% agree that search engine optimization is just a piece uh, of what what can be done in order to accomplish your business's goals for internet marketing. So to, to take it from the, the top, just like um, Wikipedia says that search engine optimization is the process of increasing the quality and quantity of website traffic by increasing the visibility uh, of a website or a web page uh, to users in a web search engine. So to say all of that a different way is that you know if you are this business, a business named searchengineland.com, you it, it's a hundred percent accurate to say you would want your website to show up at the top of the results for what's SEO. So they they have optimized their website and their web page uh, in order to show up at the, the top of the results, just like it says here. Um, and they're in separate videos. We'll, we'll go into a little bit more of the details about what that means to actually do search engine optimization. So just like it says here, SEO refers to the improvement of unpaid results. So this is paid results and everything else that doesn't have ad next to it. So that's unpaid, that's unpaid, 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 unpaid. So hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Um, uh, it's also known as natural or organic results and excludes direct traffic visitors and the purchase of paid placement. So we'll, we'll do a separate video about um, purchase of paid placement. It's a valid approach. It's just different than um, search engine optimization. Um, and we'll, I'm not going to go through every line in here. I'm just going to stop right here and go back. Uh, I mean, you're certainly welcome to come over to Wikipedia and read it. It's, um, it's all good information. And what I want to point out in this, in this video is where does this information come from? So when somebody does this search engine optimization thing, what are they doing? Well, I'm not going to cover everything. I mean, we, we could be here for hours and hours and hours covering everything that can be done. We're just going to focus on what shows up here. And uh, we're going to talk about this, which is um, it, come, it almost always comes from something named the title tag. And you have control over that as a business owner. Uh, again, almost always Google has the ability to put in whatever they damn well please because they're Google. <laughs> um, and you, you do have control over this. Google almost always takes this um, from what's called schema markup. So that's another type of search engine optimization. These are breadcrumbs, which just means it's the path that leads to the article. And as a business owner, you have control over that. Um, it's, it's not always the case. Google does not always show the schema markup code here. But if, if you have it, they almost always show it. Uh, and then this part is almost always, you're probably tired of hearing me say that, uh, the information from what's called the meta description. And as a business owner, you have control over that. And then these are other portions of the site 
generally taken from that schema markup that shows the breadcrumbs. Um, and again, you have control over these things. Now, the reason I keep saying almost always is because Google tests, like they iteratively test. Um, you might call it A-B testing or split testing. That They test putting different uh, combinations of information um, from your web page or your website in general into these search results to see what will generate um, not the highest click-through rate, but will generate what they have a whole algorithm about what they call micro conversion. So these Google watches, like I'm, I'm looking in Google Chrome right now. Google owns Google Chrome. This Google Chrome is a browser if you've never used it. Um, but they, they, you know, as long as you accepted their privacy policy and terms and conditions, that they will grab all sorts of information that would just blow your mind about what they collect. So your IP address, which tells them or gives them an idea of where you're located, um, as well as many, many, many other things. They, they essentially see what you're doing on the Internet because they see uh, what you're browsing with um, in, in Google Chrome browser. All right, so now if I, if I click on this result, I'm going to I'm going to right click and say open in a new tab just so that I can keep the, the search results there. And then you can see, you know, right here, this, what is SEO? What is search engine optimization? That is what we saw here. What is SEO? What is search engine optimization? So that came from this. So you have control over that as a business owner. And then the, the other information um, that they have, like they, they don't, you know, many websites literally show that breadcrumb, like in this case, they don't show the breadcrumb. Um, but again, you have control um, over breadcrumbs on your website, and we can go into more detail about that. And then um, the, the rest of the, the content um, is, is here. So the, the other part of search engine optimization uh, is strategically deciding what phrases you as a business owner you want your business to be found for so it could be uh, your strategies uh, if you're a consulting agency it could be your services if you're a service-based organization it could be your products uh, if you're retail or a middleman or wholesale or manufacturer it could be a lot of other things um, yet you you need to decide what you want to be found for and then you work with somebody like me, uh, who, and I'll work with your marketing department um, in order to uh, come up with a content plan so that you have content that supports the phrases for which you want to be found. And it's, it's in your best interest to have um, co uh, consistent and cohesive um, website content so that it doesn't have to be super long like you can see this this web page isn't really all that long yet it's consistent it's all about the same topic it's relevant and one of the things that google watches for is uh, scroll so again when somebody's watching or reading a page in google chrome they literally know when you scroll the page they know the rate at which you scroll they know the amount of time you spend on the page and it google brings in all this information um, and then they analyze it so they have artificial intelligence that they have an algorithm that analyzes it and that information and much much more goes into their uh, decision procedure to to figure out who should be the very first organic search result, which is this one. This one's a paid placement. Uh, this one's organic. So appreciate you listening to this this explanation. There is much, much, much more to to cover. Uh, yet at a high level, that is the view of uh, search engine optimization and uh, a few of the the pieces that you as a business owner have control over. Um, as I've said in the other videos, very excited to hear your questions, comments, insights, and all this type of thing. Um, and uh, just one more video in this part of the series. There'll obviously be many more as I receive your questions and and begin to answer them. Um, the, the next video will be about link building. 
um, which is one, one way to do search engine optimization. Again, just a piece of the puzzle, and within that piece of the, the puzzle, it's just one part of internet marketing. So we'll be back to talk a little bit more about link building <laughs> in the next video. Thank you very much.